Monday. Look at all this pink right now. Pink, pink, pink. Ooh. Obviously, as you guys know, Monday's my hair washing day. So we just washed my hair. I just finished breakfast. We're gonna sit down and try to get a few things done really quick. What I do need to do is check my work email. In my last like, week of my life vlog, I was like totally avoiding it. How many emails do you think I'm gonna have? If you guessed 79, you would be correct. <sighs> I was only able to answer like a few emails because I realized it's 10 a.m. And that's when I record with Alexis. So I'm setting up the podcast in this little area. Things are all over the place. Last week, I practiced doing this in bed. Oh, fuck. Because I'm trying to practice doing just things outside of my desk. So today we're doing it right here. <laughs> just scared. Hello. I need to test my audio real quick. Testing my mic, looking at FaceTime, looking around. How does it sound? It rhymes. I know, that was good. Alexis is choosing our episode today, and I don't know what she chose, so I guess you guys will have to wait until this gets posted to see what we're chatting about. <laughs> I'm literally so tired. But our episode went well. It was fun. I still won't spoil it, so you'll have to listen to it to see what Alexis chose for us to do today. I need a coffee. It is 11.30, and I have to work at 2. 2 to 10, every Monday. Oh. I'm trying to figure out how much time I have to get something done. Or like, what can I get done in the amount of time that I have, rather. First thing being coffee. I kind of want a hot coffee. I'm going insane. Look at how big Bailey's getting. Oh my goodness, mom. <laughs> Did you show everybody how big you are? I love these new containers. When we're at the bus on the weekends, I always drink hot coffee because Cohen's mom has a Keurig. And so I do like K-cups and stuff. So I don't know if I'm just feeling like hot coffee because I've been drinking hot coffee all weekend. This is what I set up behind me with like my mic on here and I sat in this chair to record. And I do have to record an intro for the episode that was supposed to go up yesterday. It's still not up and I need to get it up today because something happened with my audio when we were recording last time. It was recording for like a minute or so and then I got a notification that was like, the audio stopped. And I was like, I don't know why. Let's just save it and do another file and we'll just combine the two files or whatever. Should have went back and listened to it, I guess, because I didn't realize that the first file didn't have any audio at all. I have to re-record the intro to this episode and then get it up. I'm trying to like prioritize things that I have to do here versus things that I can do while I'm at my other job because things that I can do online, I can like do online. I can make social posts for the episodes and stuff. So I don't want to do that here, but I do need to edit. Like I'm not going to bring all my drives with me to work and like do all of that. So we're going to record the new intro, make the episode, upload it and see what other little editing things I can get done before I have to go in. Hello and welcome back to your favorite podcast. It's a non-negotiable for me with your hosts, Marissa and Alexis. The motivation to do anything right now is like, but I'm trying, I'm trying to push through. I'm trying to be like Marissa. <laughs> this is just something that you have to do. You just have to do it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I can't get out of it. Hello and welcome back to your favorite podcast. First like minute of this. I love Mondays because I close and it's two to 10 and I get my mornings. I don't get them any other day of the week. I open all the other days, but it also feels like such a rush morning. So I try to put so much stuff in my Monday mornings before I have to go in. And then I always feel like I don't get enough done or like I, there's just so many things that I can't get done. So I always feel a little flustered or like rushed on Monday. Mondays. I just hate being stopped in the middle of a thing that I'm doing, if that makes sense. I'll see you guys either tonight when I get off work or tomorrow morning. Happy Wednesday. It is 1.30 and I just got home from work. Well, I got home at one from the coffee shop. Then I showered. I have a couple Trek meetings. Now we're in Trek attire. I forgot that I got this, but y'all know I love my ramen. So I got this to try, which is like a teriyaki ramen, like ready to go kind of thing. And we're going to try it because I have my meetings in 30 minutes and this says it's ready in like two. I make it in this. There's no way. Empty noodles into box and separate, pour sauce over noodles, close lid and microwave on high for two minutes. I feel like it's gonna leak. How is it staying in this box? Like this is literally just a cardboard box. I'm gonna do what it says. Close lid and microwave. We had pizza last night. 
I didn't know that we saved a piece in the microwave. While that's going, I'm gonna rant about my work day for the two minutes that it's in there. Because I'm a manager at my coffee shop, so I open the coffee shop by myself, and then my next barista usually comes in at 8 a.m. So I'm there from 5.30 until 8 by myself, which is fine because we're dead, and you have like one or two people, it's a small coffee shop, so I can handle it. But like 8, 9, 10, 11, like that's when we're busy, of course, every single day. My 8 a.m. barista called off today. I was by myself until like 10.30, and it was hectic, and I was running around like crazy. It wasn't, you know, the most terrible experience. Again, I've been through worse at Starbucks, like running a two partner play kind of thing, but it was just a one partner play, but we're just not nearly as busy as like a drive through Starbucks, but still. And then finally someone else came in and like helped me. They got there at like 10, 30, 11, thank God. But I'm exhausted. I just needed a shower. <laughs> and now I need food and then we have to go to work again. Let me know how your work day has been in the comments. Like, you know, rant away, any workplace drama. Let's see if this leaked everywhere. Don't judge the state of this microwave. Ooh, okay, we didn't leak. I don't understand how, but it smells good. Mm. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I want to pour this. Well, I should probably just eat it out of here and not dirty a dish. I was going to say I want to pour it into my new noodle bowl. I might still do it. <laughs> I also have an Amazon package that I'm excited to open. Let's give this a try. The flavor is there. This would be so good. We do have frozen shrimp. Like if I did like a shrimp teriyaki like noodle bowl. So good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey Marissa. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I am wonderful. <laughs> oh my goodness guys. This is not for you. My first meeting is done and we're going to do a little unboxing. It's my packing cubes. Cohen's mug and packing cubes came in like immediately but both of my packing cubes and mug were like on back order and took longer because they were pink. I don't understand. You ready to pack up, baby? Yeah, let's do it. Pack up our dollars? Yeah. We gotta go through the closet again. I'm not mentally prepared. I'm so prepared. I wanted to start going today. Oh, well, are all the clothes put away? Yes. We had like so much laundry to do, but if all the clothes are put away, then we can go through our closet. I have my next meeting in like 50 minutes. Do you think we could do it in then? All of it, no. Do you want to start now or start after my meeting? We start now. I guess we're doing the closet, y'all. You know, everybody keeps making fun of me, including you, for our, like the cups that I have to get rid of and all the things that I have to get rid of. But what about you and your hats? All these hats can't come with us because there's like multiple hats on all of these there's like four on this one you're gonna have to figure it out baby i'm taking up all the hats where are you gonna put them at least three-fourths of the hats where are you gonna put them i'll make a special spot for my hats okay oh she's going to get wwf smackdown on mom oh on me <laughs> Bella. Bella. so we already did this once i will link the video down below we got rid of like 10 bags of clothes oh my god it's so much and whoever said that Cohen had more clothes than Marissa, you're funny. You're funny! But this is round two. So the first time we did this was definitely like a purge, of course. Ten bags, that's a lot of clothes. But, you know, it was hard to part ways with clothes right away. Or anything but right away. But like we did the kitchen, and then we did that again, you know what I mean? So we had to kind of do this in stages. The stages of grief. So here's part two to the closet purging. We're gonna be doing the same method we did in the first one, or at least I am. I don't know what the fuck's coming doing, but. I'm doing the touch and go, okay? As soon as I touch it, I have to decide if I'm keeping it or not. If you can hear Naya chewy the bone, ignore it. We're already starting off. I know I just said I was gonna touch and go, but here's my dilemma here. Obviously we can't get rid of everything. Or I guess my thought is, what happens if I need this? Like I'm not gonna need professional clothing in the bus on a daily basis, but what if I need something nice? Like what if we have to go somewhere? I don't know. These are like the only pair of like nice pants I own. They're the same pair, just one in black and one in brown. So I don't know if this is like a keep because I need at least one nice outfit on the bus. I don't know. If there is clothes that like you're wanting to keep, I'll probably put it inside the suitcase and I might put it in my sister's basement or something. I don't want the brown pair, but we'll keep the black pair. I do like these pants, but I feel like they've run its course and I really don't, I don't see myself wearing them in the bus. Yes, and yes, I like my little long maxi skirts. I'm also contemplating, are we trying to not hang stuff back up? Like, are we gonna try to get used to not yeah. having things hung up? Yeah, because we're not having anything hung up in the bus. So like everything's going into packing cubes. Because essentially, I guess that's what we're trying to do this for, is practice with our packing cubes before we move in in 16 days as of today. What can we fit in these packing cubes is what we bring. That's terrifying. Will I wear this on the bus? I don't think I've ever worn it. I'm already sensing like things that I kept thinking that I would wear since the last time we did this. If I haven't worn it since then, I'm tossing. And I say tossing, obviously we're not throwing anything away. We're like donating everything, but I want to clarify. Yes. 
I need to see how many little packing cubes we have because I kind of obviously want to organize it by type of clothes. Like if I can have all of my shorts in one or something or like workout clothes if I can fit in one. That's what I'm trying to do. Going through my tank tops, I'm so excited for like summer on the bus. Yes, yes. Mm. Good old dicky shirt. I did keep this because I do like it, but now I feel like I don't like it and then it's run its course. I'm keeping three jeans for right now. I am going to keep because I like being cozy though. So even though we can't keep or we're not going to keep a lot of our like winter stuff, I'm going to keep a few of my little like long sleeves because I like a good shorts mm -hmm. and long sleeve moment. Yeah, you too. Going through my hoodie selection. Well, that's the thing is like I love hoodies. I do too. But hoodies I... take up the most room. <sighs> the way that our like clothing storage is going to be, maybe we can fit all of our packing cubes in the big one but then that smaller one that we're making on the sides can be like folded hoodies or like whatever yeah i like that or sweatpants stuff like that what? i'm doing so good but it's so sad um i'm putting stuff over here that's like still kind of cool but it's just for becky because mm -hmm. i'm gonna be still working on it i love that flame mm, my see but i'm also thinking about chilly nights by the fire i want that one i'm gonna keep that flannel <laughs> I thought it was a touch and go, babe. I touched it and it's going here. <laughs> I wear this one like 70 times a week. It's so many hangers. Literally. <laughs> the whole office closet is full of hangers. Hot girls read. It's coming to the bus. Does anybody have an Aussie? I feel like a lot of you guys do who watch this and want this hoodie because I love it. I got it for Freya. Like it looks like Freya, but it doesn't fit me how I like hoodies to fit me. Like I like them oversized and this one's like too fitted. So I don't wear it ever. So I don't want to bring it on the bus because I know that I'm not going to wear it and it's going to take up space, but I don't want to like just donate it. So if there's any of you guys that want a little hoodie and this has an embroidered little Aussie on it. It's so cute. It's just black. That's it. So basic. Nothing on the arms or anything like that, but just a little embroidered Aussie. DM me on Instagram. I'll get it to you. And I have a whole bunch of like my riding jerseys because I do still have to like ride my bike. I'm going to keep our engagement dress on the bus. You are? Yeah. Why? Because it'd be like a nice little date night dress too. And it's really like comfy uh -huh. and it's breathable. Like a beach, like us on the beach. Find something either temporary in the bus to keep my jerseys for this riding season. I'm, I'm done before you. I'm having a hard time getting rid of hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> like me and you both love this hoodie. I know, I wear it every day. <laughs> I know. And what would this be cute for like a date night or I think you'll like it by a fire too. Because it's like a flannel. Like you're gonna like it as like a little night layer. Yeah. But then I have like some nice, hoodies. Yeah. Make your yes pile and then go through it again. That's gonna be so hard. And this is another nice little like date night little <laughs> <laughs> How many date nights are we? We don't go on dates now. <laughs> well yeah, because we're fucking broke. <laughs> Here's where we're leaving off right now. Is this your getting rid of pile? Yeah. Okay. Getting rid of pile. These are keeps? Mm-hmm. Keeps? Mm-hmm. Okay. And well, then, not that one. Not that That's one. That's just for Becky. The bus, bus clothes? Yeah. Okay. And then we have nice-ish clothes that we're going to keep at Cohen's sister's house for like professional-ish nice clothing, not in storage, because then she could maybe like mail us something if we need anything last minute. And this is my clothes that I'm keeping so far. My pile's smaller than your pile, baby. Are you keeping? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, take back what you said earlier. Baby, you haven't went about through. About Cohen has more clothes than me. Haha, <laughs> so funny. You haven't went through. This was all the stuff in the closet. You still haven't went through any of your bottom ones. Yeah, I have my folding clothes. That is true. But this is all I'm keeping from hanging, which is great, baby. I did so good. This is all the stuff that we're going to donate. And then, yes, I do still have clothes in these four bins. This one's all swimsuits, so I know I don't need all of those. These are all, like, shorts, whether it's athletic or whatever. These are all pants, like leggings or athletic and this is like warm stuff so this whole bin's basically not coming because this is like winter clothes we'll keep probably like a few beanies or whatever but and we both have our dresser though but this is all like underwear and socks and blah 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 blah. so but i have my other meeting in like 10 minutes so we're taking a pause i'm gonna take my meeting i'm gonna drink this celsius so that way when i'm done we could keep going and make it through this and try out our packing cubes colin's gonna have to do a second time through on his hoodies no <laughs> Hoodies and sweatpants and hats are going to have a hard time with. Yeah, hard time fitting it on the bus. Cheers. To 16 days before we move into the bus. Hey, Marissa. Hello. I made it through everything in the closet. All the hanging and everything that was like up on this little like shelf or whatever. Now all I have is my dresser stuff, which is like underwear, socks, pajamas, sports bras, like that kind of stuff, which will be easy to just throw into like a little bit, but...
The closet is done. These are all hoodies and Cohen's bags. My bags. We're gonna have like a small spot for like beanies and stuff. That's what this is. These are my hoodies that I'm gonna bring. And then I have a bin of my Trek clothes that I need for the summer. And then this is my other job clothes that I need for now. These are Becky the Bus work on clothes. Other than that, we're good. We just put all of our little bins like in the drawers where they used to be. So that way we can still get stuff out of them. But they're in the bins, you know? So that was a lot and I'm starving and we're gonna make dinner. I posted a reel on Instagram of like every single item that I'm taking on the bus with me clothes wise. So if you're curious and you wanna see, you can go watch that. We're making shrimp Alfredo. <laughs> I feel like we've made that so many times in these vlogs now. Last time we made it, we only made half. So that way we can make it again. that all my clothes fit. That was nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. Took a lot longer than what I thought it was going to take. It took about five hours. But well worth it because we got all of our stuff that we needed for clothes wise to be taken care of. Next is going to be pretty much the rest of the fucking apartment. The kitchen's done. Clothes is done. That's good. Mm -hmm. Now we need like the office and like nooks and crannies like under the sink and like things like that. Yeah. But all the big ticket items of like couch, dressers, end tables, desk they gotta we're not, go. uh, yeah we're obviously not taking all that yeah so i think i'll feel a little bit more comfortable once all that stuff's like gone i already know you're gonna be taking up probably like a whole drawer of like your hair and like skin product and stuff like that we'll see we're on episode i don't know like three or four of the trust this is like i think our first time in probably like six months that we're eating dinner when it's daylight out yeah that's wild. This show grinds my gears and boils my blood. I have to take multiple deep breaths during this thing. We eat our dinner and be angry <laughs> for another episode. I need my glasses. They should be right there. No? Damn. Probably the bedroom. Get you a man who will get all your things for you before he sits down. 